I'm gonna start by reintroducing the two most important people here tonight. We know them, we love them, it's why we're all here. The bartenders. Over these last six and change years, we have smiled, we've laughed, we've experienced the amount of things that I believe relationships over there even longer have never and possibly will never experience. I think it's important to kind of kick off this confession of love with a rendition of my, or the rendition that I believe is true of our first meeting. So it's a little bar I like to call Blackstone Tap in the greatest city in the world, Worcester, Mass. That night though, the moment I set my eyes on you, I knew you were different. Could have been your looks, which alone would have caused that reaction. As you well know, PDA is not my cup of tea. If I slide up and say, hey, this is weird at the end of the conversation, but would you kiss me? I avoided rejection and received a peck on the, on the cheeks. <laughs> you having me step out of character That meeting was so absurd, but when you really take a step back and think about us, it makes so much sense. Everything about it makes so much sense. From that first time meeting until this very moment, we have grown so much. And when I think about this unity, I can't help but smile, truthfully. I still remember the day we met like it was yesterday, looking across the room at a crowded bar in Worcester, staring at this very handsome stranger. I watched you as you ran from one end of the bar to the next, stopping at every group along the way. I remember being so intrigued by you. You eventually came up to me like I knew you would. And you talked my ear off all night. You haven't stopped since that day. <laughs> but that's the thing about you and I. We are both all in or all out type of people. And once we decided we were in, we were all in. It didn't take me long to fall in love with you. I mean, how could I not? You're tall, handsome, smart, Good at sports, but not better than me. <laughs> it's hard to accurately put into words how I feel about you. So today, I stand before you, and I tell you this. You are everything I've ever hoped for, and nothing I expected. It has been the honor of my life to first be your friend, and then your partner. talking about. This is what we're talking about. It is now my honor to declare you married. Go forth and live each day to the fullest. You may seal the declaration with a kiss.
Listen, everyone's talking about the first time Eddie and Britt met and at the bar, at the tap, all this nonsense. Here's what really happened. Ed, myself, and a few friends went to the bar, having a nice little time. Britt happens to be there with some of her friends. From across the bar, Britt sees this tall, dark, handsome looking fellow. And next to me was a lesser tall, lesser handsome, slightly more athletic looking fellow. And next to Anthony was Ed. <laughs> He's a special person, he brings special people together, and he found a very special, beautiful, hardworking, and unbelievable bride. And, and I'd encourage everyone to just take a second and just look at how beautiful the two of them are together. And then how beautiful everyone they bring together are and realize the impact that they've got on so many different people by just two people, two beautiful, special people uniting together. We cannot take that for granted and what a special night it is for that reason. So for the bride and the groom. Michelle and I are very proud of our former roommates <laughs> after roughly 441 days, but we weren't counting. But we saw what type of couple they were and became, and we're just so proud of them. For a while, I think Britt Bull and I thought, okay, let's just give up. We're not gonna find anyone who is as good to mom as dad is. But I stand before you both today, and Brittany, you did that. Eddie. Shit. <laughs> I know for certain that I am not the only one in this room tonight that thinks the world would be a better place with a few more Eddie Frasers. Somebody asked me recently to describe my perfect day. A day that I could relive over and over again and not get sick of it. And looking around here tonight, seeing the love pour out of this room, I think this is my perfect day. <laughs> Britt, Eddie, I love you both with so much of my heart. Now could everyone please raise your glass and cheers to the new Mr. and Mrs. Frazier.